number number three guy says, well, you, that doesn't meet the state statutory requirements of what a forged document is. I'll have that barred from evidence. I said, well, I'm going to be standing up there, and unless you put a muzzle on me, I'm telling you, each and every juror in there is going to hear my, my lips move, and they're going to hear me telling that I received a forged document from the state of Iowa that started this whole snowball rolling. And they say, well, I'm going to stand there, and I'm going to read them the, statute of limita- the statutes in our state of what a forgery is. I said, well, I'm going to get a thing called Webster's Dictionary, and I'm going to read the definition of a forgery. He says, well, I'm going to have that kicked out. And I said, well, I'm going to tell the good, plain-speaking folks in Iowa that the state of Iowa has refused to let me read a dictionary definition to them because they think it will denigrate their argument if they actually know what a word means according to Webster. They're hearing me loud and clear, and they're starting to realize this is going to escalate quickly into a three-ring circus. I said, I'll tell you what else I'm going to be telling the jury. I'm going to demand that my co-conspirators are named. He said, what do you mean co-conspirators? I said, I don't think you guys did any work when you checked this out. Here's how your program actually works. I fill out an affidavit saying my show's complete, these are the costs. They review the affidavit, but they're going to issue tax credit certificates. These are worthless to me. I don't pay taxes in Iowa. They're going to issue them to a group of dentists and attorneys and doctors, which is what they actually did. There's four people involved. These people are going to receive directly from the state the benefit from the state. They then pay me cash to purchase my transferable tax certificates. I said, so if you really think about it, state of Iowa didn't give me a penny. State of Iowa gave four of my co-conspirators tax credits. I only ever received money from my four co-conspirators. So if you're alleging that I did a crime and you've been unable in any of our conversations to tell me where I stole the money or how I stole the money, I propose to you, maybe they stole the money. Since you can't prove anything anyway, I want the four of them to stand next to me and join me in my defense. And I want them to do jail time with me. These are some of the biggest political contributors in the state. These are the people who pay for the governor's campaign.